Hey collective, it's Chan with you and I am back with another video. What's good y'all? So let's hop right in and get into some messages. Somebody could be trying to confuse you, Capricorn. Okay. Either you somebody trying to confuse you, Capricorn, or a Capricorn is trying to confuse you. Take it where it resonates. Take it where it resonates. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, I keep seeing a confusion spell. Somebody is definitely trying to do something to confuse you. Let's see what come out. Okay, so you got you peep everything. Exposed on social media. Okay, they don't know what you know or how you found out. They scared. Your spirit guides on their ass. They not playing. Okay, so these three cards came out in my last read. Okay, somebody is definitely being exposed on social media. Okay, it could be some pictures. Somebody, somebody, it could be some pictures about to be exposed of this person or whatever it is that they doing. Who knows? But I feel like your intuition is on fire. Who am I speaking to? You peep everything, okay? And it's like, these people don't even know how you be finding out certain shit. But it's that, that's your intuition. Your ancestors don't be playing about you, okay? You got smoke a blunt. Yeah, so I feel like just relax, chill out. That's like my chill call. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Smoke a blunt if you don't smoke. If you use like vape, you know, if you drink wine, you know, pull you up. However it go, just chill. Yeah. It's like people always trying to be funny. But you peep everything anyway. Yeah, something is coming out in January, Capricorn season. Something is definitely coming out. Somebody always trying to be funny, but it's like I'm hearing like the joke is on them. Because whatever they thought that they were trying to be funny with, you already knew what was going on. Okay, so you got Cruz. I'm getting like somebody's last name could be Cruz like c-r-u-z but i'm also getting like to take things slow like chill out just like i'm i'll get like whoever i'm speaking to you're cruising like you don't have nothing to worry about somebody also about to be going on vacation you guys you gonna have some hating ass bitches mad okay somebody about to be posting up on vacation chilling smoking a blunt on the balcony you're gonna have motherfuckers tight like I said, people thought they was being funny, doing whatever it was that they did to you. But let's see, somebody could have even exposed you on social media, you know? Take away resonate. But it's like whoever was whatever they was doing to try to be funny is like like I said, the joke is on them. Yeah, having too much pride was their downfall. I'm telling you, somebody thought that they was doing something. Somebody thought that uh, yeah, somebody thought that they had the upper hand when it came to you. They thought that you was going to be a laughing stock. That, like, they thought that shit was, like, shit was never going to get better for you. Shit was never going to get easier for you. Okay, you got alone, alone but never lonely. Yeah. It's like your spirit guys protecting you, covering you. You know that no matter what, you good. Yeah, you got to keep your faith popping out. So it's like keep your faith. You could be an Aries or dealing with an Aries. But it's like, you don't be bugging about the shit that's going on. I feel like you just chilling. Y'all seen release that old connection. So this could be somebody that you was dealing with, you know, in an old connection. Let's see what this hidden truth will come out. What's going on? Yeah, because see, people don't know what the fuck, you know, but I know whatever they did, they got your spirit guys tight. They thought that whatever they thought that they was doing to you, they thought that they was being funny. Like, I, they thought they was going to make a joke of you. Yeah, you got, I couldn't let you get close to me. I'm starting to understand our connection. I'm hearing, it's just a little too late, a little too long. And I can't wait, cause you know all the right things to say, you know.
know it's just a little too late. Yeah. See, now, yeah, with this, look what's at the bottom of the day. It's time for me to heal now. See, that's you, collective. You're like, it's, it's a little too late. It's time for me to heal now. Okay, this person, they're now trying to understand what y'all connection consisted of. But I feel like they're, they're saying that because, like, they're trying to find the right words to say. But it's really nothing much to say because their pride is literally why they didn't allow you to get close to them. Yeah, it's like, I couldn't let you get close to me. Why? Because they fucking pride. They was too prideful. Whether I'm getting for some of you all, these this person cared about how other people um perceived you or the shit that people said about you and them being together. This person is somebody who was a people pleaser and they always looked for validation from outside motherfuckers. And that's why they didn't allow you to get close to them. They allow people who is trying to be funny to get in the way of this connection. And I feel like you could have told them that like, yo, the same people that you listening to, if I wanted to, I could have them. This person thought that, th that they was doing something by, you know, not playing you close. But now they feel that shit. Yeah, now it's I want to be more than friends. This person could have fucked you and friend zoned you. Or kept you in a friends with benefits situation. They didn't want to make anything official with you. It's like this person wanted to play in a relationship. But they didn't want to claim you as theirs. And this could have went on for years. I feel like now you could have. Yeah, it's like now you could have. You know, left that shit alone, or you could have put them in a friend zone. Like, you know what? Fuck it. You you want to be friends? We friends. And now it's like now they want to be more than friends. And it's like you're like, man, listen. Yeah, this person is afraid to contact you. They don't want to speak to you because it's like the way they left you was not okay. And I'm a firm believer. It's not what you do; it's how you do it. You don't want to be with somebody. It's perfect. That's perfectly fine. Nobody's going to hold you hostage. But when you trying to take somebody down at the same time, like crush them in the midst of leaving, no, you're dead fucking wrong. Yeah, my life is not together as it seems. I'm fucking pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. This person got a lot of love for you, though. They definitely do. But they know that, yeah, look, I want to feel that way again. They never felt the way that you made them feel. They never felt the way that you made them feel. And like finding out who the fuck you really were. Like you were an angel sent to them. And they did you how they did you. That shit breaks their heart every time they think about it. Breaks their heart every time they think about it. Yeah, with this hidden look. I can't make it up. We just use the hidden truth. What's the first card? Hidden truth. This is what they don't want you to know. This person is really fucked up inside about how they how they played you out. They are not even going to hold you. But see, what I don't like with this person is this. With this evil eye and black magic. Okay, people could have been doing this to keep this person away from you in the beginning. But what I'm getting is that this person started doing it to you with these people. Like, all right, whoever they left you for... And they was trying to be funny. They thought that they had one up on you, leaving you in the beginning. See, they had magic over them to begin with. Y'all connection had magic over it to begin with. But see, when this person thought that they was trying to come up against you or sabotage, like, whatever they thought that they was trying to do to hurt you with that always trying to be funny shit, with this humor and gratitude card, your ancestors was blocking them every fucking shot. This person, it ain't, it, it wasn't never funny for what they was doing to you. They thought it was funny. They thought it was funny and now they bound. Look, you got bound and stubborn. They bound to whatever black magic that they was doing to you because they was guided not to do this shit. They was guided not to do this shit. And that's why your spirit guides is not fucking playing with them. With the skeletons and jumping to conclusions, they move too fast. And now all these skeletons is coming out with that being exposed. A lot of shit is being exposed. What they did, the magic they was using. They even finding out the magic that was put on them. You know what I'm saying? They jumped to conclusions. They jumped to conclusions. Yeah, now it's like they having romantic thoughts about you. Trying to create blockages for what's coming to you. That's what I picked up. See, this is why this person is really going through this. Because... On top of them, on top of magic already being on top on y'all connection, is like, okay, cool. 
But then this person went and turned and started doing magic on you too to stop you from moving forward with whatever it is that you have going on. Yeah, it's like this person want to apologize, but they not really sorry. If anything, they're sorry that they're going through whatever it is that they're going through. They're not sorry for what it is that they did to you. That's 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 the real deal. Yeah, you got toxic family and submerged in the, submerged in emotions. I feel like this if this is, if this is not somebody that she, you had a family with, this person could have left you for somebody that they had a family with, but they realizing that that situation was fucking toxic anyway. It's like now they want more balance. This person cry a whole lot. This person stayed with a, in a connection for some sort of money. Yeah. The grass is fake. This person definitely stayed in a connection for some money. That shit was not real. It was never any love it, wherever this person went. And they knew that. If anything, it was finances there. Somebody done getting terminated. Or shit, who they left you for, they could have thought, oh, like, this person got a good job. Oh, they got money. Blah, blah, blah. She don't even got a job no more. Yeah. You got this person that went the fucking wrong way. Lying. Copycat. Somebody could have even been lying about having a job and then said they got fired. They never had a job to begin with. This person, like, you know... This whatever copycat they was dealing with, this bitch is a liar. This could be somebody that they got a family with. I'm telling you, this person tried to shit on you real bad. For real. Could have tried to make it seem like you was a home wrecker. Like, they, 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 this person did a lot. They did a lot. That's why they avoiding you. I'm telling you. Where, where this call at? Because we, I, you, where is that? Where is that? Hold on. I'm afraid to contact you. It's out here. I know my, it, my cards be all over the place, right? Now, where is that? I'm afraid to contact you in avoidance. This is why they avoiding you. They don't want to contact you because because they know they left you for somebody who who dreams to be half of you the fuck whoever they dealing with could not compare to you puppy puppy love crush yeah it's like they they this person this person go after childish shit like they want stuff that's temporary yeah toxic crazy this is what they into. And I feel like you wasn't that. You like, you know what? I ain't got time for this shit. Like, you somebody who stand on business and you take shit serious. You not you don't have time to be fucking being toxic and fight doing anything extra. You're not doing that. You got friendship out here. This person could want a friendship with you now. Yeah, I want to be more than friends or something. I mean, this person is like, if they can't have, like, like they, they're willing to settle for a fucking friendship. You got a friendship, a message, reconciliation, yeah. I'm telling you, this person may come in like, well, can we be friends, blah, blah, blah. You know, me personally, I feel like, I feel like, to, like, if you're moving on to a different connection, yeah, this person feels trapped. If you're in a different connection... Then it ain't nothing to talk about with an ex. You know, now if you single and you feel like you and this person could be friends, who am like, you know, y'all gotta take it where it resonates. But I feel like a lot of spiritual lessons came from this situation and you moving forward for from it. Simple. This person is hurting. They're having a lot of dreams about you. I feel like whoever you are, you're focused on your money. You're focusing on your stability. You don't like it's not like it's like you're not dealing with this type of shit. Yeah. You got immature and family oriented dating. Yeah, I feel like this person that you leaving is very immature. And here you got somebody who's willing to, you know, work with you, you got kids or build a family with you. You don't got time for that. Like a real relationship, real high vibrational. Yeah, you're cold to anybody who isn't ready for that. Anybody who's 
Yeah, y'all hear them sirens? Anybody who's not mirroring the same energy that you're in, you don't want to deal with them and you don't mind waiting. You're like, I don't mind waiting for whatever it is that's meant for me. Yeah, with this energy out here, you like, I need somebody to match my energy and I'm not scared to wait for that. Yeah, because you know who the fuck you are. You're in that empress energy. Somebody is definitely about to be vacationing. Somebody about to go on a whole vacation. To clear your mind. Like, I'm hearing, this is the piece that you cannot buy. Send me a love that you cannot mix. Period. Send me a love that you cannot mix. Nobody ain't got time to be sharing or mixing with nothing or anybody. Okay? Yeah. I feel like you left... Whoever had you in a third-party situation, you really had to leave that uh, the completely alone. That shit was not emotional. It was, like, um, emotionally unavailable, insecure, cheating, deception. Like, it was a lot going on in that connection. I told you, friends with benefits, somebody didn't want to take you serious anyway. Very sneaky, very manipulative. And here you got somebody that's willing to come. I can't make it up. Cut the deck on him. You got somebody that's willing to come in and be your evil, be your match. You could really be missing this person. This person from your past. And you, yeah, you got a vacation. I feel like going on this vacation is what's really going to open your eyes to have you realize who the fuck this person is. This person is a player. A man, I'm telling you, a manipulator. Very manipulative and condescending is what I'm hearing. Mm, 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 mm. That's nasty energy to be in. Yeah. But see, I feel like you're definitely... Somebody is definitely... Like, with all this energy coming out, somebody is still spending quality time with somebody new in the background. It's like you're learning to heal. You know, to continue to heal through it all. You know, this healing journey, it doesn't stop. That's why this energy is going to always come out. It's going to always be a trigger. It's going to always be something. But I feel like whoever you are, you're working through all of that. You're working through all of that. Somebody is missing you. Meanwhile, you on vacation. Really, you know, learning to love and appreciate yourself more. Yeah, with the Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Something that came to a complete end. And I feel like that shit came fast. But it's like the, yeah, the minute that shit came, the minute that, that ending came, life started changing for you in a positive way. Yeah, with the Four of Cups out here. Somebody is feeling very discontent. Ten of Pentacles. Because they know you finna have wishes for your wishes fulfillment. True happiness. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. And you holding the fuck back from them. Yeah. With this Five of Swords. That's why they upset. You got the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Wow. Somebody could even be wanting to get back with you for some money. And they... Or... or yeah. Look. I said that with the Three of Pentacles. Somebody tr could be trying to get back with you for some money. Look. With the Empress and the High Priestess. But you know that. See, you got some money. You got something coming in for you with that Ten of Pentacles. You got something coming in for you. And because, see, somebody can't get love from you, they figuring like, oh, they could get money and a friendship from you. It's it's none of that. It's none of that. I feel like this person may want to come in and act like y'all, like, oh, you're my divine counterpart. No, the fuck they're not. I'm hearing a false twin. Like, no, they're not. No, they're not. Yeah, you got the Queen of Wands out here. Yeah, this person, um, Nine of Swords, this person definitely had you in the third party. They sure did. And I feel like whoever they was in the third party with, the, them and that person is going through some sort of judgment. Yeah, with the Three of Swords, the World, and the, um, the Page of Swords, and the Ace of Swords, whoever they was dealing with, them and them, they all going through judgment. It's like on some one being one sound type shit. Because they was all doing shit together with that black magic and evil eye. I told you the person that they left you for. The person that they left you for was one doing magic over y'all connection. Then this person went with them, got manipulated into doing magic over you. That's why they going through whatever they going through with the seven of stories. I feel like you're very protected and you you stand your ground. You protect yourself. You ain't finna. You you're not wishing. You're not playing. You're not playing with these people. Period. And it's like this person know that whatever they did, like 
they didn't get nothing out of it. They ain't get nothing out of it. And here you got an emperor that's coming to bring you an offer. Forward movement, yeah. Hierophant. This person is your equal. I don't know what... This past energy, they, they got they self in some shit. They fucked they self over big time. They fucked they self over big time because it's like... Imagine doing all of this to somebody just to try to find out who the fuck they were to you. And then in, in, in the same breath, when finding out who they were to you, because it's not who they are to you anymore. You done got demoted and now they have somebody new coming in. You know what I'm saying? Who is their actual equal? So it's like, imagine all of that hitting you at once. Man, listen. This person going through it. Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like you're you're focusing on your your funds, yeah. Seven of Swords in the reverse, yeah. This King of Wands, he can't do nothing to you. This person was in the Seven of Swords energy. I'm telling you because because of what you have or what you yeah what you're accumulating. Period. With this Devil card here, Three of Cups. This is somebody who is in a devilish ass energy with a third party. They want to move forward with you. They can't. It's no more forward movement. I feel like you're moving forward. You're moving forward with something else, something new. Hermit, yeah. I feel like you know what's going on. Yeah, you got somebody from your past that's tight. Six of Cups, Knight of Swords. They are pissed. I'm telling you because it's like whoever lost you, they know you a fucking catch. Simple as that. And, and that, that's that's the real deal. Whoever lost you, they know you a fucking catch. I got to start doing better with how my cards be looking, right? But anyway, let's get a final message for the collective. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. See, I feel like you forget. This person wants forgiveness, but I feel like, yeah, they're in heavy regret. But see, I feel like, I feel like you regret, you... You forgave them even if they never apologized to you. You forgave them and you was able to move on. Yeah, with this abundance and empathy card, I feel like you're somebody who you're open to seeing both sides of the situation. And it's like, yeah, I learned from this, but now it's time for me to move on and manifest whatever it is that I want in my life. Like, simple. And don't doubt that you can't do it because you really fucking can. Excuse me. That was confirmation. Confirmation, Birch. I said Birch. Somebody last name could be Birch, but a confirmation Burt. But yeah, this person. I'm hearing Beyonce. You love me like XO. You kill me, boy, XO. Yeah. I feel like you guys, somebody is hurting. I'm telling they know, they know that what's coming in for you. Is not is is not what is not what the fuck. This person is avoiding the fuck out of you too. They have no choice to but to avoid you. When somebody who think they know it all realize they ain't no shit, and they was not they was mad wrong. Oh hell no! This person ain't coming to um be account held they self accountable for nothing they did. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta believe and know that this person ain't coming to hold they self accountable for nothing. I, and that's why I feel like you realize, like, you know what? I'm gonna forgive this person regardless and move the fuck on. They pride is is what got them in this situation, being too prideful. So that's the message that I have for you all. But I seen that confusion spell cards again. So I'm telling y'all, collective, somebody is trying to confuse you. Somebody want to confuse you, keep you stuck, take it where it resonates. I'm just the messenger. So that's the message that I have for you all. And until next time.